Welcome everyone to Snuggly Gaming. I'm Dan. Today I'll be playing Transocean the Shipping Company. Uh, let's start. Easy, normal. Strict deadlines, high penalties. Um, I like normal. Not too hard, not too easy, just right. Campaign or free game? Campaign. So, a uh, little know about the game, it's, well, it's, it has to do with shipping, that's why it's called Transocean, the shipping company. Um, I played it about 20 hours before, beat the whole game, and I gotta say, I quite enjoyed it. Um, okay, so, from the beginning, this is the investor, or I like to call it the witch. She's just gonna give us problems for the whole game just problems. You see her face? Just imagine a big giant problem. Um, you hope it's such a shipping company, even the storm here can times I could my determination. I'm prepared to back you with eight and, and a half eight and a half million dollars. I'll to keep your startup afloat. Yes it shall. And this is our trusty accountant. Um He's just gonna give you mostly advice, good or useless advice, I don't know. Well, we'll see. Uh, see, he's, he's our shipping company. Oh, see, he's already trying to get me fired, take my job. Okay, what shall I call a company? Something good luck. Uh, something. Yeah. I think that's Lehman Brothers. That can't be. That spells success, doesn't it? Hmm. Accounting location, location, location. I put together a few suggestions. Blah blah blah. Okay, so here, what? What's my home port? That's basically where each time I go to buy a new ship, that's where the ship is gonna appear. Or in this game, the sense is gonna be if uh, that'll be where the ships are gonna be offered. Every so week or so, there will maybe a new ship. I can buy. Hmm. Okay. See, see this one. Ha uh, the first time I played was with Felix Tove. So, uh, sorry if I'm not pronouncing it correctly, but that's just the way I am. I'm hard about pronunciation. Uh, you can. Dun dun dun. See. My business sense says I should prob probably start with St. Uh, Petersburg for the alcohol, um, you know, the increase in alcohol pri uh, contract price, which would be very helpful. Um, I don't really play too much. Uh, I don't do a lot of those contract work, as in. Uh, actually, no, that does, that's different. That means. If I'm, I'm reading this correctly, what this means is basically uh, if I should not complete the contract within the stated time, there'll be 10% reduction in penalties. But see, the problem is the it don't, uh, the only ships that can build are Panamax, which is kind of I say I would say bad because once we start going into the bigger ships, you know, I'd rather have a larger pool to select from than uh, constricted. Like, you know, the 10 penalties are going to be a me 10, 10 minus 10%, sorry, but uh, contract penalties will help out. But, you know, the bigger, you got to think further ahead, not, you know, well, this is going to save me 
five, you know, I don't know, like ten percent off a penalty. It's just it's not gonna work out toward the end. So I want to look something more long term versus short term. Uh, fuel prices. Um, that's. Uh, I don't really have too much problems with fuel. S so the. No, actually. Yeah, the big ports don't have any advantages except for the fact that I can get uh, bigger ships. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna go with Britain. Uh, that's the first one I started with. Had a good start. Let's continue. Here's my chopper, which I'm never gonna see again. It's like a one time thing. Ooh, and. Well, looks like I was about to die on my first uh, visit to my home port. That's great luck. I'm a lucky man. Okay. Bonds, he heard me. He's like, "Don't joke with her." There are three mods to choose from at the wharf right now. The vessel, has, the vessel has thrown enough money for us to afford one of them. Do I want a tutorial? No, do I do not. Uh, where am I? All oh, right, okay. Five ships. Um, okay. So I remember watching a few of these uh, people who actually played this game uh, on YouTube and the thing uh, I noticed is a lot of them go either for the speed vessel 650 or the medium feeder 1015 now I personally don't know why they feel like they have to you know go cheap on the on this thing on buying the ship like buying the cheapest ship I'm guessing you know, they think save some money for a, a rainy day or some sort, but I feel uh, I'm gonna buy the light carrier F. I feel granted it's not the fastest, but you gotta you gotta see the max load. So it's basically uh, I could carry maybe t close to twice as much as this one, and a quarter more than this one. So you know, in shipping, it's the idea is the more you sh you carry through those. You know, to all other ports, the more money you have. You don't, you know, you don't want to have a ship half empty and go into a port because there'd be port fees, fuel fees, and just wasted space. So, I, f I feel like this would be better. I could grab more contracts, more contracts mean more money, more money means I could buy another ship faster. At least that's how I feel. Yep. Did I buy the right one at least? Yeah, okay, I hope I did. Uh, let's see, what should I call my petty? Um, Pacific Pearl. Titania. Hmm. Black Mary. Anna Maria, Caesar, Spectre, Vertigo, Achilles. So it's kind of like the 
he's gonna be one of those guys where you know everything goes great he's like us you know everything where, where you got the shit end of the stick it's like you ah butt kisser in other words great person to have on your team mm. okay so this is the contract list let's see what can we get mm. okay, let, actually let's see on which ships wow Wow, 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 that's not good. The cheapest ship is about 16 million. Ooh. I got some, I got a lot of sh stuff to care of there. Okay, so. Carry this. Take, oh, well, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. okay. So that's gonna be 1.1 mil. Is there any, anything else? Like 16 days. Okay, good, I can make it. See, okay, okay, this is gonna be good. If I can, if I, I pick up these two contracts, I'm gonna get 1.5 mil. Versus if I played around with the St. Petersburg one, I would just probably, yeah, see, I would pick up maybe 1.1 mil or 1.1 mil. It's Pointless, but this one, yeah. See, I'm gonna have 1.5 mil, so that's pretty good. So, okay, as, as you see, I'm moving the cursor right here. Uh, the bar is to determine, I'm telling the ship how fast I want it to go. Now, as you see, the uh, dates here is changing, and here, so first. The max, r this is basically the date right here, when it, when I increase the slide the bar to the right, basically tells me how much fuel, um, uh, how, how much fuel I'm gonna, ha uh, no, no, that's not it, uh, I'm sorry about this, I'm gonna, uh, tongue tied, basically means how much days of fuel I have, so if I wanna force the ship to travel at 12k knots, um, that means th I have enough fuel for 10 days at this speed. Now, very slow me it says, oh, you by going th uh, 5 knots, you have 57 days worth of fuel. Now, as you see, the problem is here. Uh, one of the contracts I picked up for the ore says they want it in 13 days. If I can't deliver it in 13 days, then I'm going to receive a penalty. So, and the second one, the f half a mil one, uh, contract, basically says, uh, you know, you get, get there where you get there, we don't really care. So, right now, what I want to do is m move this bar to six knots. Now, with six knots, uh, my ship's going to take 11 days to get to Reykjavik. Uh, again, pronunciation is a mess. But... Yeah, so basically in 11 days I could uh, fulfill the contract requirements, I'm not going to get no penalties, assuming I don't hit delays. Now those delays could be anything from a storm to, I don't know, magical reef appearing, I have no way, I, I don't really know. So, okay, I'm going to accept the contracts, there you go, this is my agent. She seems to always be with what looks like a Samsung Galaxy smartphone, I would guess. And that's my... I'm guessing, I'm not sure. It looks like it. And there we go. Nice little stamp, signature, and we... Are... well... yeah. Okay, so we're gonna cast off. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, I'm gonna show you off my awesome skills at... Uh, departing, and... And, um, yep, let's hope it goes good. This is basic, um, th this is gonna probably be, this is the mini game of the, oh, well, mini game, yeah, that's what it's called, of the game. Okay, kind of weird. But basically, there's no, uh, this is probably the most fun you're gonna have in this whole game, like any kind of challenge right here. Everything else is mostly gonna be uh, chart like uh, pop-up windows that you're gonna have to uh, 
click, click until you can click no more. So this is the fun part of this game, or the challenging part at least. As you can see on the top left, this is basically your, all my uh, previous attempts at um, deep, uh, trying to leave port. Uh, my best one has a far as two, two and six seconds, two minutes and six seconds. Anyway. So this guy is going to constantly say, good job, bad job, that's basically the gist of it. Okay, from here on, you're in charge, boss. Find the best contract, banks, to bank the rewards, explore the most profitable routes, and keep an eye on the condition of your ship. Um, yeah, my share is due to court after next, and I'll be asking for a problem. I'll confidently do well, work hard if you want to grow big. That's exactly how I made it. I feel like she more extorted money from her investors than not her investors or uh, basically people she gave money to. It's she's gonna be charging me out of the wazoo the amount of money I'm gonna be paying her. Okay, so there's our sh see. This is basically ninety percent. I say eighty percent of the time you're gonna be uh, looking at the map as your ships. Well, you can you can speed it up, but that ship can you can, you can watch this while it takes its sweet time to the destination. But for me, I rather go uh, speed up. There we go. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna dock, and let's see how my docking skills have uh, dig digressed. Ah, perfect. That's not a bad. So what I'm gonna want to do is uh, turn the ship little by little until I think I'm at the right point and move it down to about five knots, hard right, and the ship is gonna. I guess I, I don't know what's this called in shipping terms, but I call it drifting. There we go. That's about right, I think. adjustments perfect slow down to ensure that I don't crash beautiful again a little more adjustments and it should be fine oh, that's weird. 
much work, but sweet. So oh, I got some new achievements unlocked. That's nice. Okay, so I received 1.5 million. Uh, fuel costs was 97,000. So my total profit is 1.4. Uh, yeah, 1,461,377 euros. Uh, I'm using uh, since I'm in America. I tend to use dollars. So if I get those confused, if you're looking, oh, you know, this is euros, not dollars, I apologize, but it's kind of hard to um, interchange constantly when, you know, you're going out to the store today, you're paying a dollar, and then you're playing a game, and they say, oh, euros. So, that's nice. Mm. Just want to do your tub is a mess, we need to take a closer look. No. Uh, I gotta write uh, one of the bad side about buying ships on a is it called um, buying a cheap ship is that it's not exactly um, great condition now as you can see you it's its current condition is 57 percent um, even if I fix it to a hundred it it's not going to change. That's one of the downsides of this game. It seems like they could have done a little more. You know, I'm looking at the ship right now. Uh, you know, kind of it's nice seeing it, but there's no wear and tear look. Like, you know, it's not like there's going to be a dent around here or a crack in the back. You know, 57 percent, two percent, or 100 percent. It's just not going. You're going to not going to notice any problems. So. Since uh, reputation is a very important thing in this game, I wanna just get maybe. Uh, no change, huh? So let's get it to six. Okay, sixty-seven. It's three hundred thousand. I said it's not bad. This will give me a little leeway between you know time for me to repair it, so I can keep it ab above sixty percent, so my reputation doesn't sink. Uh, sink. So four days, that's probably the best repair. Let's see on the contracts. Is there any contracts I could take? Mm. Nothing I would say I want to lock myself in. So let's just wait out the four days. There we go. This pop-up tells us our ship is ready. Let's see the contracts. Ooh, they got worse. Ooh. St. Petersburg. No, I'm. I always get pretty decent contracts from St. Petersburg, so I might as well go there. But since I'm not in a rush, and I, I got enough. Yep, yeah, that's good. And I'm gonna have enough fuel, so I'll accept it. Yeah. Uh, maybe I should have taken the other contracts, but mm, that's besides the point. Now do I? Since I don't have a time frame on it, I could either go straight there or stop another port. I'll go straight there. Okay, let me see the reputation. Now I know at a certain point after I get a, st um, I'm not sure if I got become a co-signer. Um. This, the next rank, I think I'll be able to uh, take nuclear material and maybe liquor. That those contracts are very profitable, so I definitely want those. Okay, so let's cast off. Fun no facts: cold, cli cold climate, ice, and cool. Fuck it. I 
realized after a couple of attempts that the best way to make a quick turn is to go on the five knots and do like a hard left, hard right. As you can see that worked out perfectly. Just to make sure I'm on course. There we go. Full speed. I want to do all these uh, departures and uh, dockings is uh, one of the what is that called one of the achievements unlocks is uh, based on oh sorry I was just looking at the pop uh, the side um, is each achievement is there's a few achievements that if you dock and let's say all the Europeans and uh, dock and Undock and all the European ports. It's another achieve. It's one of those achievements you receive. And kind of it, this game, since the there's not a lot of complexity in it, I would say if you're one of those people that never really completed the achievements on Steam or any game before, it's, I would say this would be a pretty good time to try it. You know, it's not overly complicated. Simple. Uh, it took. You know, took me to beat the game about 20 hours, like I said earlier. So it's not, you know, not a horrible way to do it compared to other games you played, you could have played before. Okay, let's see, where is my... Where am I gonna dock? Oh, there we go. Oh, this is gonna be a little reduced. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think 400,000 to repair my ship. So why am I getting 30,000 to because I lost 1% of wear and tear slash damage? Does this. Well, why do I have to pay this? Did I damage something besides my ship? That's the thing that worries me is that am I getting double. Uh, double charge in a sense you know it's like I pay let's say a hundred thousand for fuel and then I as soon as I dock it's like oh it's another hundred thousand because you burned off the hundred thousand that you paid so I'm not sure 
to me it doesn't really make it, it, that little concerns me since it really depends how are they recording this is am I being charged double for it or are they just charging me once and this is only like a little nice you know information say oh you know you made 700,000 but considering the fuel cost and the lot damage it's more like this journey made you, you know, 550, 550,000. If, okay, well, that's something I guess I can look into later. So perfect. Okay, we definitely need fuel. Oh, it's pretty cheap. But even if it wasn't cheap, I would still fill it up. Just because, you know, you never know. You might need money or you're in the middle of something so fuel is never my problem now contract list ah see St. Petersburg good old St. Oh, okay so which contracts would be best bang for my buck um So let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to Dublin. Even though I'm gonna burn more fuel than I would like, I feel Dublin might get me something. But I'll take Lisbon on as well, since um, so I'm just gonna go to Dublin and pick up something and just travel to the to our upper you know upper part of Africa and see and this is one of the reasons I took this the bigger ship because I have I can carry all this if I if I took the smaller ship I probably could carry one of them like I would carry one less than I currently am okay sweet now should I improve my ship Let's increase the range, but is it worth them? Actually, I cannot, since one of the contracts is time sensitive. Yeah, see? I almost forgot about that. So, let's go. Code. Again, the climate's cold in Russia, go figure. Okay, how am I gonna do this? I guess backing out is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. change even though it's 67 percent I see there's no change in the quality I mean the there's no change in the ship's cleanliness or anything I know the color for containers are nice it doesn't on the eyes I would say Let me 
dock. Okay, that's full speed ahead. So my best time was one minute last time into the dock. I don't think I can beat it with this ship. Okay, let's adjust for the drift. Okay, I think I see it probably right here. Uh, effect. Slight adjustments and. So now the issue I was uh, talking about was the where is it the contracts and the diagram no no the all oh right I still can't uh, get the contracts done until I complete a few tasks. Uh, if I remember, I'm not sure exactly how I unlocked. The Contracts, but I'm guessing I have to complete the deadline contract. So, I guess I gotta get some deadline oriented contracts. Wow. Um, nothing to pick up here. Let me take our time. I don't really want to go to Port Said. to Lisbon and see uh, what do they have in Lisbon maybe some more profitable contracts there we go temperate that's a nice climate pull back generation st generating station okay, so which one ah. okay let's do this what I want to do is get a Angles, beat it up. Oops. And, uh, this should be behind me, must be think I'm, I'm like some kind of drunk pilot, uh, captain. Speed ahead, Captain. It's kind of stupid. I'm the captain, so I will. Never mind. And we're done. Now, speed up.
five seconds. And uh, I guess I can I'll end the video on this note. Um, uh, since I played this game before and I kind of uh, know what to do. Well, now we know what to do, but I'm more, you know, I can predict what kind of content I can get out of it. Um, I'll be uploading it more, more regularly. Uh, please, if you like my video, subscribe. Put, I, I really would appreciate commenting. You know how I can improve this video. You know, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna know what needs improvement if no one tells me. So please comment. Um, so till next time, take care. And signing off. This is Dan from Snugger Gaming. Take care.